I want to talk about piazzo buzzers. Piazzo buzzers is a component like we see here in the camera which can create sound when it gets let's say frequency. So we have here also another kind of buzzer. These buzzers are very common in every hand watch in the alarm. When we have an alarm in the watch, it is exactly this kind of piazzo buzzer. The difference between them is the size and the effective frequency. Let's see an example. I found on the internet TDK Piazzo Electronic Buzzers. We can see here that we have many kinds of buzzers with a different numbers. The different numbers determine the size of the buzzer in millimeters. So example PS17 is 17 millimeters. We also have the frequency. The frequency is the frequency of the buzzer. The, the effective frequencies that will make the strongest sound. Okay, so we can see here that when the diameter is higher, we get a lower frequency. The frequency is here in kilohertz and I would like to show uh, how it works. So we have here all the frequencies that we can hear in this kind of components and the peaks here are the most effective sound which means if we will give this frequency to the buzzer it will have the strongest sound out. But if you will give it this frequency, it will sound to us much lower. Okay, so we have all the kinds of buzzers. And something very interesting is that the buzzer is, as we create frequency, it makes a sound. It also works to the opposite direction, meaning... If you will do a sound, it will create voltage. And the, there is a very important uh, method how to work with this buzzer, which I'll explain now. So basically, we need to create a frequency, let's say 50% duty cycle, and we will have here the time the time of this wave and the frequency will be 1 divided by the time or the period of one wave okay okay one more important thing is how to work the buzzer we can think of it like a capacitor which we give the capacitor voltage so basically we have two ways to work with it we can put one pin to the ground and then in the other create the wave and we will hear the sound this is a good way but it is not the best way the reason is that if we want to get higher sound or more loud sound we will have to do this we will have to take the capacitor and connect it one way to our wave and on the other instead of connecting to ground we will do the opposite of the first and then we can say that the voltage 
will be twice of the voltage in this case. So if we will work in this way, we will have a much louder sound. This is what I want to show right now. So let's write a program and, imp and implement what I've just said. Okay. So I will write it fast and explain. First, we want to create pin that we will work with them. Meaning, we have to define which pins will be the output. So let's take pin number 5 and then pin number 6. Okay, now after we've done it, we can do the sound. So how will we do it? We'll do it in this way. We will call for a function named sound1. Then we have a delay of one second. Then we will call function sound2. And then again delay. So we will have the ability to see the difference between sound 1 and sound 2. Sound 1 will be this case when one of the, of the pins of the piazza is connected to ground. And in the second, we will do the opposite as I have explained. So let's write the function this way. We need to declare void sound 1. And then we'll do it this way. We will do a loop. First of all, if it is the ground, so we will do the ground now. I will connect one of the pin to low. So this is like connecting it to ground. Then I will do a loop. I will explain why because we need to do many cycles in order to hear the sound so we will take 400 cycles and now we will produce the sound like this we will do it this way digital right to the other pin which is 6 and high then we will wait for a period of 400 microseconds this is like the delay but it is for shorter time the delay command each number one if I write one in the delay command it's one millisecond this is one microsecond so it is a much shorter time and then we will do the same and write low now we have again to put a delay in order to get the 50% duty cycle ok so let's see if it is all ok I think it is but I want to do as I said, sound 2. So let's copy this one, all this part of sound 1, paste it to here. Now we will call it sound 2. But as I said, instead of using this line, we will do it like this. <coughs> when the first pin is high, the second will be low. So pin 5 here will be low. And here, when the second is low, so pin 5 will be high. Okay, let's see. 6 is high and this is low, and now 6 is low. Five is high. I think it is okay. Let's see if it is compiling and it is. Okay, let's connect the board. 
I will connect the pins that we declare, which are 5 and 6, and then run this program. Okay. So you can see this is low and this is much louder. I hope you can see the difference between the sounds. It's the same sound, but in the second we did the change, which gets much louder sound. Okay, thank you for watching this.